I mean, he's a perfect 80s movie. Got so much, so much awesome dumb shit. Oh shit, we're, uh, we're in for it now. I used all my discipline, that's not good. Man, Orbiter and Plagued, I am fucked. I am fucked if I'm not careful. Luckily I have this entire friggin' Fucking commando references in the stream. I love it. Oh, I backed myself into a corner like a goddamn idiot. Oh, at least I can vault my way out of this. God, the spider webs are really, really messing me up here, too. I don't think I'm going down, but... Yeah, there we go. We took care of it. Yeah, not going down, but I definitely... Didn't have my best moment there. Wow, and then another boss fight. Jesus, man. We're really, we're really getting into it here. I like this. I like the feeling of more or less constant panic I have when I start fighting new bosses every half second here. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. This is where shit gets rough. Once they start walling me into to damage fields, that's where I start having trouble. Especially since they're so tough to kill, man. Like, look at this. These minions are taking a pounding. Like Monica Lewinsky. Ah, fuck me. There we go. Gotta pool my damn resources here. I like that you have two different resources tied to different skill sets. I don't like the fact that discipline seems to refill so much slower than hatred. Because hatred is the only one you refill by attacking. Discipline just slowly regenerates over time. And that can cause problems um, if you don't build your character to be able to... Ooh, Ah, uh, damn. Still no good attacks. It's, it causes problems if you don't build your character to be able to refill the discipline faster. So that's that's one of the big things you need to pay attention to as a demon hunter once you get later in the damn game. Yo, Stax, you have this game, right? Waiting for a response. Ooh, yay, better gloves. That'll help me survive, actually. Actually help me survive really well. Sweet. What we got? Damn, more tokens for these assholes I'm not using. Oh, wow, I should uh, really have switched to that a while ago. Would have helped me with the boss fight. Yo, Stax, you and me and Moz Boz and... We gotta get in on this on this shit. Because this shit is awesome. And it is a perfect co-op game. Especially once you get that adventure mode, dude. Let's see, can I clear this one? Let's see, almost. See, my character can't do as much damage as I want it to right now, so I have a feeling I'm not going to be able to clear this one the way I want it to. See, I'm only at 21 of 100, and I only have half left. Whenever they spawn in the little guys, that really helps, because the uh, explosion damage I'm doing there, the Nephilim. Come on. Come on, we're at 80, 87... A hundred, yes, we did it. We did it, and I'm not dead. I figured I'd be dead by now, standing in the friggin' pool of enemies. Okay, that was badass. Oh, wow, they spawned a second one. Yay! Radiant chest for the win. Anything good in that one? No. Anything good in this one? Not really. Oh, well. 
It was still fun. Alright, this has got to be... That is not the way. Where haven't we gone yet? Where the fuck is this? Do y'all see anywhere on the map where... Oh, God, it was all the way up there. Yo, well, hit me up, man. We can play the shit out of this sometime. In fact, probably tomorrow. As long as you're not spending too much time on Hardline. Because I'm totally down to play this with other people. This game is better with other people. The only reason I'm doing this stream non-co-op is because... A, I don't think I have the internet to handle it. Because I tried streaming Titanfall the other day and it was the laggiest shit I've ever seen. It was fucking horrible. <laughs> and, uh... I don't know, I, I consider this kind of a personal challenge. To be able to run through this and do it. My mistress has accepted me. Here's that hermit I was talking about, by the way. Yo, that was some alien shit. I love how that poor bastard just spawned a teeny tiny little spider. Come on, bring it down. And I've not gained a level in a while either. This is uh, atypical. What's up? That chest piece is slightly better, but I'm trying not to lose too much uh, life regen. Actually, yeah, no, I'm gonna stick. I'm gonna stick with the chest I have right now. After this, it might be prudent for me to go back to town and uh, craft some stuff. Because I should... I've gained a few levels since I did that last, so I should be able to get... Uh, don't need the acid right now, I just need to talk to the chick. Oh, what was my train of thought? Yeah, it's been a couple levels since I've done any crafting, so I should be able to uh, get a significant uplay, upgrade to my character by doing that. Alright, slow you down and then chill you. I really like that they kind of designed every character so that every character could do stuns and all sorts of cool stuff like that. That was one of the thing that was one of the other things I didn't really like about uh, Diablo 2, even though it was a fantastic game and I, st I do still play it to this day, is, you know, it's like... If you want to be a stun character, you have to do this. Or if you want to be a character who has any kind of benefit to your teammates, you know, like like life regen or something, you have to be this character. But this character sucks for everything else, so good luck taking down bosses, you stupid bitch. It just, it got kind of annoying after a while. Because you, you could never find, you could never find... I wouldn't say you could never find. It was very difficult to find people who were very good at playing their class um, in Diablo 2. I can't remember how many times I would be like, oh, hey, another necromancer. Let's see if he's got good hexes or anything. Oh, it's literally just a guy running around with a bastard sword because he's some goth kid who wants to look cool. It's just like, Jesus Christ, that's annoying. It's just annoying. I mean, that's... That was one, that's one of the reasons I kind of got sick of Battlefield after a while. Because when Battlefield was, you know, the old school Battlefield, like 1942, there weren't, there were a lot of people playing it, but there weren't too many people playing it. So you had your group of friends and everybody knew how to play their class. And as long as everybody in your squad played their class, you'd do all right. And now you've got people who the only thing they're doing is they're all just trying to run around and call a duty it. And that's not how you're supposed to play Battlefield. You're supposed to... I mean, it's a class-based game for a reason. So it, it just kind of got annoying when it when it's like, okay, well, I'm a, a medic and I'm trying to, you know, help a CQB guy capture this point, but literally the entire rest of my team are just snipers sitting at the edge of the level just trying to get kills. And then the two assholes in the jets doing absolutely nothing but dogfighting. It's like, what's the fuck, What's the fucking point of playing the game if you're not going to try to play the game 
I mean, I guess it's fun, but if you're all just trying to play to be MLG or to be lead or trying to be, you know, that fucking guy, go play Call of Duty so I don't have to deal with you, man. Uh, let's see. Hey, got an upgrade on the belt. And it looks like... Oop, upgrade on the belt. And it looks like some stuff I can equip on my follower, yeah. There we go, get him upgraded a bit. Alright, let's see. Let's burn you out of there. Love how I cover her in acid and she's just Please tall. Leave this horrible place. And I mean, you can snipe on Battlefield, but when your entire team is just snipers and you're supposed to be holding a point, but everybody's sniping, it's just like, what's the fucking point of even playing this game? Go play a deathmatch, you assholes. <laughs> it was terrible being stuck in there like that. Thank the gods you came along. What are you doing out here? I seek a man taken by the coven. The coven? I saw them dragging someone into New York's manor. This is a fun game. Perhaps I like this game. Uh, Alright, we are going to go just so everybody has a heads I'm up. I'm going to be going until I get the Khazra staff. Position. And then uh, once the I have it, I am going to be returning to town and ending the stream. Just so I don't end it abruptly. Abruptly. Um. And kind of you know, ruin anybody's enjoyment. Just so you know, the show is about to end. Archer is banging the chick and his mother's doing something, blah, 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 blah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't watch too much TV, so I don't really have an allegory to be like, this is this part of the show. <laughs> so it's almost over. Well, not almost. Wow, I'm just... I'm just like, just just stop watching me, just, you know, there's nothing to see here, nothing, blah, blah, blah. It's a great way to keep a stream going. <laughs> Alright, let's pop up here. Yeah, kill him! Kill him with fire! Yeah! Yo, I just shot him with arrows and he literally burst in half. Burn them all! Burn them with giant area clearing explosions. I love characters with huge AoE attacks. That's my favorite, that's my favorite thing about, uh... Well, not my favorite, but one of my favorite things about playing is the Witch Doctor. Is he has so many area of effect attacks and so many damage fields he can drop at once. You can literally drop three damage fields, use, um your, you know, summon pets to keep people in the damage field, and then you can just sit back and do area of effect damage on fucking everybody. It's awesome. It's like my favorite way to play the game. Especially now in this one where you get points, or you get challenge points for killing tons of enemies at once. It's so good. I'm sure this guy's taken at least one L. Uh oh. I'm sure this guy's taken at least one arrow to the knee. Or this chick. Keep forgetting I'm playing as a chick. I never liked the fact that Blizzard seems to design all their chicks to be basically sluttier versions of the male characters. And they're always, they're always sluttier versions, too. It's never... You know, it's never the opposite where the guy is the scantily clad dude and the chick's running around with, you know, giant body armor. It's always... Yeah, level 27, motherfuckers. There we go, grab all that. Oh, I did say I was going to jump back to town really quick here. It's always the chick that's like, here's the female version of this clothing, and for some reason it comes with only a G-string. And, like, leggings. It's like, what the fuck? Alright, let's uh, salvage all this. Hair. Let's see what weapons I have access to now. Nothing new. Wouldn't mind making that. Actually, that's... Probably, that's probably a really good make for, uh, a uh, hardcore run. 
Let's see. Experience through a magic property.